What's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to do story time, and we're going to talk about country music legend, Garth Brooks. I met Garth Brooks when he was in spring training for the New York Mets. This was probably late 90s, 97, 98 maybe. He was playing with the team, and he actually like played in the games, and they had a autograph session for you know, like a meet the team type thing, and he was there signing autographs. He was sitting. I remember he was sitting beside Robin Ventura, so he was able to get some, you know, Garth Brooks autographs at that event. But then after the game, I tell you, uh, Brooks was or yeah, Garth Brooks was one of the nicest guys in the world. He would sit there and sign autographs for five, six, seven hours, pretty much until the last person was there. He would just sign and sign and sign and sign. It was pretty amazing. I've never seen anybody sign so much. The only other guy I could think of that signed almost as much as Cal Ripken Jr. Spring training, he used to sign forever. He would just sit there and sign. One of the nicest guys in the world. But uh, I know we went one day and we got a couple uh, guitars signed by Garth Brooks. And then we went back a couple days later and he wasn't signing guitars at that time. But one thing that I do remember is he had a, he was walking from like one field to like the batting cages because he wanted to go do some batting so there was like i don't know two or three hundred people following him i mean wanting his autograph and he was signing on the way over and there was a, this one autograph guy uh there was a kid like really annoying that was in front of this autograph guy and for some reason this guy felt the need to trip the kid so the guy kicked the kid's feet out from under him the kid, you know, tumbled on the ground, and this happened, I think it was, this happened twice. After the second time, Garth stopped, and he's like, and he looked at that guy, he goes, buddy, he goes, if you kick that kid one more time, I'm going to hurt you. And, you know, kept walking and signing some more stuff. And then the third time, when that guy kicked that kid again and knocked him on the ground, Garth like shoved this guy and knocked him to the ground and this guy's laying on the ground and has his back against a tree and then all of a sudden Garth is like this getting ready to punch the guy like right in the face and that guy's like this and here I am literally right beside him I got my camera like this you know getting ready to, to take a picture and then Garth looks at me and the camera and then he puts his arm down and uh I was like Go ahead and hit him, Garth. I said, this guy deserves it. He, he, he tripped that kid. I tell you what, I said, better yet, let me do it. I'll hit the guy. You go ahead and move. You want me to hit him? I'll hit him. You just let me know. Because like I said, this guy, the guy was a jerk that was, you know, kicking the kid. There's no reason to kick a kid because, like I said, Garth was signing for everybody. He, he would sit there and sign for six and seven hours at a time. You know, the guy didn't have to, to trip the kid. But, yeah, uh, I always wondered... How much that photo would be worth? I mean, like, Garth Brooks getting ready to punch a guy. It was, it was crazy. But that was like, uh, you know, one of the, one of the times I most vividly remember about Garth. But uh, yes, yeah, so and Garth was super nice. That's the only really story that, you know, really comes to mind is me getting a picture, you know, of Garth Brooks almost beating the crap out of somebody. It was pretty awesome. But like I said, he was a nice guy, really cool, stood up for that kid. Uh, like I said, signed autographs for hours and hours and hours. Sorry this is a little bit shorter one, but I thought it was a cool story I wanted to tell. And I couldn't think of much else, you know, when we met Garth. We met him a few times. But uh, hey, thanks guys. If you like this stuff, please hit the like button. Uh, I do a story time about once a week. I've met thousands of celebrities and, and sports athletes and stuff like that. And like I said, I usually have some pretty interesting stories. Like I said, if you like this stuff, hit like. And then also hit subscribe and hit all that way you can see all my videos. Thanks, guys. Peace.